Okay, welcome back. So, as I said in the previous lecture, you don't have to get all three services from the same company. However, the process is a little easier if you do. So, in this lecture, I'm going to walk you through getting all three set up in one fell swoop. Domain name registration, DNS, and web hosting, all in one. If, however, you want to register your domain with one company and get web hosting from another, or maybe you've already registered a domain with another company, GoDaddy or something, but you don't have hosting service yet, I'll show you in the lectures that follow how to do that. So let's get started, and again, I'm going to demonstrate using a small orange, but you're welcome to use another provider. If you do want to use a small orange, you can use the affiliate link and promo code in the additional materials to get a little discount. Uh, if you use another provider, the process won't be identical, but it should be pretty similar. Just creating an account, setting up a hosting plan, and registering a domain. So either use the affiliate link and the promo code if you want to get that discount, or go simply to customers.asmallorange.com. That's customers.asmallorange.com. And assuming this is your first time here, you won't have an account yet, but that's okay. We'll just go simply to order new services right here. And they make it pretty simple for us. Everything we need to do is all going to be on one page. So, um, first of all, you're going to have to select a hosting plan. Now, there are a whole bunch of options for you. Most of these, most of you will be able to safely ignore if you're doing a fairly simple website that you don't expect to have big, big traffic. So, I'm going to recommend for most of you that you choose one of the shared hosting plans. And all that means the shared is that uh, any given server and hard drive will not be dedicated just to your website alone. Other websites will be hanging out on the same hard drive as yours, uh, and that's a perfectly fine practice. Uh, they, they play nice together, so don't worry about doing that. So again, for most of you, that's fine. Only if you are at a much higher, much more complex website with huge amounts of traffic do you need to worry about anything else. There are four options in the shared hosting plan. Uh, I'm sure these prices change from time to time, but these have been pretty steady right here. Uh, You'll have to make your own decision about which of these is going to be sufficient for you, but here's a few things to look at. Um, the small is nice for many people. Five gigabytes of storage, that's a lot. That's all the uh, information for your website. That would be all the pictures that you have, any videos that you actually upload to your own server rather than embedding through YouTube or something. All your text, all the files that you load up. Uh, five gigabytes is a lot for most websites, so you probably won't ever go up against that. There is a smaller plan that has just 500 megabytes, which you, you might actually find yourself using up after a while, but if you really want to save some money, there's this tiny plan right there. Uh, the bandwidth for most of these, again, unless you have a very high traffic website, you're not going to have to worry about hitting uh, up against a bandwidth limit. And most of these have an unlimited number of domains. That means with the same hosting plan, you could host multiple websites, which is what I do. Uh, with the tiny plan, you can only have one website. So if you're sure that you'll only have one website, it won't have huge traffic, and the site itself won't be all that large, then you could do this tiny plan. Otherwise, for most of you, there's a really good chance that this is going to be the right choice for you, the small shared hosting plan. But if you think uh, lots of traffic is coming your way, or you've got lots of really big files to store on your website, you could look at the medium and large. So I'm going to go back here to uh, this big one page, and I'll go down and I'm going to select that small. So shared hosting, small. Again, I think for the vast majority of you taking this course, that's going to be the right choice for you, but make the choice that you would like. And uh, we can decide whether we want to be billed annually. That zero, of course, will not hold. I'm not sure why that's saying that right now. But you get a little bit of a discount for uh, paying for an entire year at a time, or for two or three years all at a time. Or they can bill you uh, every month. And again, you, these are the rates that you see right there. I'm not sure why that zero is there. There we go. Monthly, five. And annually would be 50. You'd save 17%. I guess the same savings for biannual or triannual. So that's up to you, just a fiscal decision. Um, next, we'll go down here. Now, so if you don't already have a domain name registered, this is where you can do it. Uh, if you already do have one, then you can go over here and uh, transfer that website over if you want to. But let's say you don't have one yet, and let's say that for our Vinyl Vultures site, um, we would like vinylvultures.com. Now I've actually already looked into this and so you'll, you'll see what's going to happen here. It's, it's looking to see, oh, it's already taken. 
which I actually knew. So I'll, I'll show you why that is. Somebody actually owns this site. They haven't done anything with it that you would expect. They're instead using it just to serve up uh, probably pay for click links. Uh, they're hoping that people will come to this website and click on these links. They're probably also squatting a little bit and hoping that somebody will come along and pay them money for the site. If you really wanted it, you could go and offer them some money uh, and do that if you wanted. But uh, okay, so we're going to just say that, well, it's not that important. Let's, uh, let's do something. Let's do vinyl-vultures.com. And we'll check that. And it's searching. Oh, that's been used too. And let's see, it's suggested some alternatives for us instead. Okay, so we could have vinylvultures.net, vinylvultures.org.biz. Ah, biz, that could work. It's for our business, so we'll say vinylvultures.biz. I like that. Now, I'm not actually going to register this, so I'm going to just click cancel here, but you would click save to make that happen and then you'd have your domain. It, not registered yet though until you complete the process. So uh, then in here, I'm not gonna enter all this billing information myself, but you know how to do this. You wanna put in the email address you'll use for this account, come up with a nice strong password. I hope you all do that. And you'll put in your name and your phone number and your address and all these good things here. You can handle that just fine. You'll also put in your credit card information, which again, not going to do or you could use your PayPal account over there if you like and you get down here they're going to want to know a security question just in case you forget your password and then there's some additional site uh, services that you could add on for most of you these probably aren't important uh, you can take a look at them see if it's something that would be useful for you but mostly for simple sites of the kind that we're making here these aren't money that you're going to necessarily want to spend uh, the coupon code right here, I'm, again, I'm providing in the additional materials for this lecture a promo code that'll give you a bit of a discount. So here's your opportunity to put that in and save yourself a little bit of money. Take some time to read the terms and conditions, check the box that says that you have, and then you place your order. And it's actually just as simple as that. After that, you're going to be asked to set up your account and uh, you'll, you'll create a password and all those good things, but it's all going to be very familiar to you from many, many other kinds of sites that you signed up on before. And at that point, you will have your domain registered and you'll have your web hosting set up. And because we've done it all through the same company and in the same step, you're gonna already have domain name registration. They will have automatically set up DNS for you. You won't have to do anything with it. It'll just be done. And your web hosting service is up and ready to go, ready for you to upload your site and take it live, which is what we'll look at doing in some lectures later on. So that's it. Finish it up with some things that will be fairly self-explanatory for you as you click through, and I'll see you in the next lecture.